Hi, I'm doing a line now. Hi, Suze. I love you. Right. Yes. Well, I was very impressed with you. Oh, why? Thank you, Susie Menkes. If I can impress you, I'm doing something right. On the left, the globally renowned fashion journalist Susie Menkes. On the right, Stella McCartney, a designer who's made sustainable fashion her raison d'etre. Her summer 2024 show took place in a replica market, with the stalls selling the eco-responsible fabrics that make up 95% of the collection. Do people follow up? We all of us, we stand here and we think, I must yeah. do something about it, yeah. I mustn't waste my money on buying too many clothes. Yeah. But do we do it? That's what I'm asking you. I think the next generation of people do it, and I think that it's a real connective tissue between actually all generations. And do you do it is the art is the question. Do you do it? Do you do as much, you do what you can, and we're not here to make you feel guilty or bad about not doing it 100%. Anything is better than nothing. Just meet people, learn about things, try to take a water bottle next time you go out, and a carrier bag when it's time you shop and stop consuming quite so much fashion because we know we don't need it. As for the collection itself, it's an homage to Stella McCartney's family, inspired by clothes worn by her parents, Linda and former Beatle, Paul. Yeah, I've got my... I, we had, yeah, yeah, it, it's the starting point of my birth, I guess. So, <laughs> yes, but also um, this show, we had a, a Wings collaboration and then there's Market Store, there's some vintage record stores with some of my dad's music on and then there's my mum's food company on here too, So, which she founded in 1991, like a vegetarian brand. So, like, bringing family together is the most important thing. I think we're all in a big fashion family too, you know? Fashion and music also go hand in hand at our next show, albeit on a smaller scale. Franco-Ivorian label Lawrence Airline has invited journalists to an immersive experience, but only once they've chosen an outfit under the watchful eye of musician Kezia Jones. I do most of my sourcing in Ivory Coast and elsewhere in West Africa. I work a lot with Faso Dan Fani and also with the Baule Pagne that you can see here. And I also work with Ivorian cotton, which is woven in Gonfreville. I really try to shine a light on artisanal work and also to reinterpret that work in the clothes I produce. The performance, meanwhile, saw Nigerian blues and funk artist Kezia Jones improvising music inspired by the guests' outfits. Jones and Laurence Chauvin Buton first met 20 years ago when they created the visual identity of what was arguably the first ever African superhero, Captain Rugged. Today we are going to try create an environment where people can easily see the relation between sound an image between sound and color, between sound and clothes, between sound and fashion. And it's an experimental idea that I think uh, would really help people to feel um, very personally involved in the clothes they wear. And I'm going to try and make sound to go with it. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to basically find a connection between fashion and music in a much more organic way. That's what we're trying to do. Tell you what I see. For our next fashion experience, it's onto the rooftop of an iconic Paris museum. It's extremely comfortable. You wouldn't think so, but it fits well. It's great. It doesn't budge at all, and the whole look really is comfortable. I'm lucky. Alice Vaillant is a rising star of the Paris fashion scene. She chose to present her collection at the Centre Georges Pompidou. There's this real desire to protect one, you know, with all the clothes that are essentially armor, which in turn accentuates a sort of internal fragility. So there's a duality there, a real understanding of the zeitgeist, and also a real push towards upcycling. She's wonderful, really a wonderful talent. I always hold on to that very feminine, sexy aesthetic. That's really important to me because I really want women to feel great in their clothes. I want them to feel pride in what they're wearing. 
Pride is also a driving force behind Lilia Litovska and her team. The Paris-based designer uses her work to celebrate her Ukrainian heritage and identity. We're another one, yeah. Another that will, uh, we were in past, yeah. We develop new values, yeah. Uh, we are brave, we are, have a strength, we are caring, we carry each other, yeah. And after the war, put these new values in the land, filling the destroyed land, uh, put in, in destroyed land for the better future. Stella McCartney, Lawrence Airline, Vaillon Studio, Litovska. Four designers who know that at its best, fashion can also function as a weapon. <laughs>